Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a review of Amplitude 5. Now Amplitude 5 has been out just over two weeks and IK Multimedia were kind enough to reach out and offer to send me the Max version to review for you guys. If you haven't come across Amplitude before, it's a piece of guitar modelling software. This essentially means it's a way of having a ton of equipment for your guitars without having to have a massive house or a ton of money. Now Amplitude has several different versions and price tiers, so I want to start this video by talking about those. So firstly, there's the Amplitude 5 Custom Shop, and this is the free version that comes with 39 models. Secondly, there's the Amplitude 5 SE version, and this is the next version up, costing about 150 euros. This comes with 77 gear models. Thirdly, there's Amplitude 5, which is kind of a middle ground, and this costs about 200 euros with 177 models. And then finally, there's the one I'm reviewing today, which is Amplitude 5 Max. This is the maxed out version and costs 400 euros. It's worth saying that with each of these versions you have access to the custom shop, which lets you buy additional equipment. This means if you've got a free version that perhaps came with a piece of hardware you bought, you can add extra models to that. However, if you buy each of those separately, it does work out more expensive. It's also worth saying that alongside the desktop version, there's also iOS versions. However, equipment purchased on each of these isn't compatible between the two. This means if you buy an amp on your iPhone, you then have to buy that amp on your PC. Now, as I'm reviewing Amplitude 5 Max, let's talk about what you get with that. So to start with, it's largely about the amount of equipment you get, and a lot of the features are common across versions. So for example, features like being able to move mics, changing amps and cabs, adding stump boxes, the looper, the recorder, and the tuner are all common across different versions. What you do get with Amplitude 5 Max, as the name suggests, is the max out amount of equipment. So with this version, you get over 400 gear models. This includes both Fender Collections, the Orange Collection, the Mesa Boogie Collection, the Brian May Collection, and a load of other collections as well. Each collection is typically a mix of amps, cabs, effects, and stump boxes, and there's also a load of different mics and rooms as well. In practice, this means the maxed out version really gives you limitless possibilities, and at times it can feel quite overwhelming. So what's new with Amplitude 5 compared to Amplitude 4, which was already a really good piece of software? So firstly, the interface has been completely redesigned. In my opinion, this new interface is much more intuitive and much easier to get your head around. The other nice thing about the new interface is you can resize the window, which is great. It works as a standalone application, but also as a plugin in your favorite recording software. For me, this means I can use it in a Logic Pro X channel. And this is the way I tend to use this software because I use it alongside other tracks that I'm recording. When you're using it with an audio recorder like Logic Pro, you do lose the looper function and the recorder function, but it's not something you need because you're using it in that software that does that already. If you want to use those features, you will need to use it as a standalone app. As I said, the new interface is really good and it basically removes all of the quirks that were with Amplitude 4. The top panel of Amplitude is where you adjust your equipment, the right-hand panel is where you browse equipment, and the base panel is your signal chain. This signal chain has also seen massive improvements, and it can now support up to 57 simultaneous models. It also lets you drag the order around completely. This makes it even more customizable than Amplitude 4. The newly designed preset browser is also much easier to use. You can pick ones based on the version of Amplitude that you want, you can pick ones based on a particular package, or you can go through and use the full browser. When you're using the full browser, you can even view them just by sound type, for example clean, or even look for the sort of genre that you want to record. Switching between these is nice and fast, and this gives you a chance to play around with all the sounds. If you're finding the software particularly overwhelming, this is a really good place to start. If you've used Amplitude 4 before, and maybe you've created a load of presets you really like, it's really easy to bring your presets across to the new software. I've made a tutorial video on how to do that, however it is also worth saying that the sounds do sound a bit differently, because all of the equipment has been remodelled. This is also a good chance to say that if you've previously purchased equipment, that equipment comes across to the new version when you upgrade. In addition to all of this, there's also a new mixer. This lets you blend the cabs, mics, and DIs, and adjust volumes and look at your racks and your mixing effects. 
One of the things that I really love about Amplitude 5 is how real the equipment feels just to play around with and use. They haven't just made something that sounds good, but they've created something that lets you feel like you're using the actual equipment. They've also spent a lot of time re-recording the equipment to make it sound even better with this version. And there really is a noticeable difference. So that's enough of me talking about the features. I'm going to give you guys a chance just to hear some of the equipment and you can watch me play around with it. Um, so here is a slightly longer demo. Thank you. 
So as you can see and hear, the new and improved sound quality is absolutely incredible and it goes with a really good looking app. Coming at this from version 4, version 5 is just so much better. And you've probably guessed what I'm going to say, but I'm going to answer this question anyway. What's the verdict on Amplitude 5? If you're looking for guitar modelling software that feels and sounds like the real thing, then Amplitude 5 is certainly something to look at. For me, as someone who records with this all of the time, it's a massive leap on from Amplitude 4, and it just sounds so good. They took what was already a huge opportunity for customization and taken that to the next level. You can change the order of things until your heart's content, play around with microphones, change speakers, and just do tons and tons of stuff. All in all, this is a great bit of kit, and I'd certainly recommend checking it out and looking at some other reviews. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will try and answer those. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video, and I'll see you guys again soon.